My name is Kristen Chambers and I'm the Chief Administrative Officer of the Evergreens Foundation. I've been with the Evergreens Foundation since November of 2006, so nearly 15 years. The Evergreens Foundation is a housing management body and we are incorporated under the Housing Act, which is under the Ministry of Seniors and Housing at the moment. The Evergreens Foundation is governed by a board of directors from the six following municipalities. MD Greenview, Jasper, Hinton, Edson, Yellowhead County, and Parkland County. Our seniors' lodges that we currently operate are in the communities of Grand Cache, Jasper, Hinton, Edson, and Evansburg. The Evergreens Foundation manages a variety of different housing options within our rural communities, such as the Seniors Lodge Program. And as well, on behalf of the province of Alberta, we manage the Senior Self-Contained Apartments and Family and Community Housing Program, as well as a Rent Subsidy Program. The primary focus of the Evergreens Foundation has been the Lodge Program, and that's where we have been focusing on most of our construction. We are currently in construction right now of our Pine Valley Lodge in Hinton, which will increase from 30 units, which we have currently, up to 101 units when completed in early 2022. Looking ahead, the Evergreens Foundation is continuing its pattern of growth and actively looking to meet the needs of the seniors within the communities. Our board is very passionate about giving seniors care that they require within their home communities when possible. As we're looking ahead, we are looking at developments in Wildwood, as well as in Victor Lake, which, was, which is in the MD of Greenview, to meet the seniors' needs up there. I'm really excited for all the new space we're gonna have at the lodge. Right now, we have to do our exercises in our sitting area, and we have to move the Chesterfields out, we have to bring the chairs in, have to move furniture around all the time, and in the new place, we'll have a place to do our exercises, a place to do our crafts. We don't have to take them and put them away every time we're working with them. We can leave them out until we're ready for the next one. It's a privilege to get to work with the people that live here. They have full lives and experiences uh, that I really love getting to know them and their families as well. So I really love my job. <laughs> So I, I tell them that, I said, you'll be amazed if you come here, come here and look at the place, if you want to move in. Look the place over and you'll sure change your mind about moving in. I like living here because the people are friendly and there's lots to do. And when COVID-19 is over with, we can go out <laughs> and enjoy the scenery. <laughs> I'm no, lonely with 90 people. <laughs> no, you can't get lonely here, never. Because if you sit here by yourself, sometimes they go, it's nice and peaceful. But then you go out and everybody knows me. Because I live here seven years, it makes a difference too. And then they, and then they say, oh yeah, just ask Nelly, she knows everything. <laughs> yeah, if you live here seven years, you know what's going to happen. Yeah. And I always like to remember all the names. I know everybody by name. And then you get more into it too. We are so blessed with activity, we could not possibly ask for anything more. The only thing that has curtailed our activities is COVID, and we all know that. But we get bus rides to Hinton to shop. We get bus rides anywhere and everywhere with our activity lady, Amanda. <laughs> it's the first one in Grand Cash. It's the only one in Grand Cash and keep being able to keep our seniors in town instead of being moved to other lodges is perfect because i've been here for a lot of years i've been in grad cash for 49 years and i i like seeing the old timers in town and a lot of them are in this lodge that i grew up with and the families thank you for taking the time to learn more about the evergreens foundation we look forward to being part of your future housing solutions for more information about the foundation or specifics on what's available within your community please see our website or contact us by phone. Right, should I look at you or the camera? Me or the camera, it's up to you, whichever one you're comfortable. <laughs> I'm using that for the closing scene. <laughs> <laughs>